Well, we are here today at the Goodwill. It is super early in the morning. Well, super early. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, that's early for me when it comes to shopping. I usually don't get out shopping until like 10 or 11. Um, so we are here at 9 o'clock. And I've never been here this early. I don't know what to expect. But we're going to head in and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. Okay, I figured we would start out here in the orange section. Sweet little kitty cat here with a ball of yarn. It looks like a hand painted kitty. It's a dollar and ninety-nine. We usually do pretty well with cats. That's kind of a nice piece. It's resin. If it was metal, I would probably consider that because I like the leaf there. This is a sweet little dish. It looks like Mexico um, folk art pottery. Oh, Cancun, Mexico. It's actually a souvenir piece. Um, I will usually pick these up, um, but a lot of the times when they are souvenir pieces, I leave them behind because I just haven't had tremendous luck with souvenir pieces in the past. I love these wax pieces. Um, I don't even know who makes it. Wax pottery vessel. I just always thought these were so cute. Um, over here we've got a candlestick holder, $2.99. Nice stoneware candlestick holder. And one of the pieces I noticed that I was kind of eager to get into this aisle for was this one. $6.99, but you can see there is significant damage to it, unfortunately of fun sunglasses. You know, I usually pick up the sunglasses that are fun, but it's kind of a different shape. I don't know if that shape would really fit my face. This is a rice pattern uh, teapot with cups. You can see the rice pattern really in, in, the, in there, in the inside of those. Um, they're made in China. Markings there. Um, sometimes this rice pattern stuff does well for us and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm not really sure how to differentiate between the stuff that's good and the stuff that's not so good, but um, it is really neat. I'm going to leave it though. This base right here I think is made by Otagari. It has these cut out hearts in it. There is a name for it. Usually there's a horse in the bottom of the cups, but this is a creamer so I don't see a horse in the bottom there. Um, and I'm not sure, sometimes the horse wears off, but I don't think this one originally had a horse. It has the horse on the outside. It's $1.99 for the creamer. The last time I found the cups here, I think they were like six bucks a piece for those. I thought that was kind of crazy, but um, the creamer is nice. So for a buck ninety-nine, I feel like I can make a few bucks on that. It'd be wonderful if we could actually find the sugar bowl to go with it. These look like they are flash painted. <laughs> Kind of poorly flashed too. Somebody also may have painted those. What are these things? Those are kind of interesting. William Sonoma. This one obviously was fixed. It looks like it was cracked and glued back together. I'm not sure exactly what those are supposed to be. Got an art pottery piece here. It's worth checking out. I always look at the art pottery. This one is RLC. Well, it seems kind of, eh, I don't know. I'm not really excited about that glaze. Sometimes I'll I'll buy the pieces when I get excited about the glaze, but that one's just not not very exciting. There is a set of salt and pepper shakers. I kind of like the design on those and the way that they are squared off. They're two ninety nine. I would expect these to be like eight to twelve dollars. So the two ninety nine is probably not worth it for me. This down here is kind of fancy looking. That's like a huge console ball. Probably not something I really want to mess with, but I just really liked the bright silver uh, paint on that base. I think it's a resin base and they just have silver on it. Um, what is the price on that? Oh, $9.99. It's $10. This plate looks like it could be either be old or be modern. <laughs> there we go. Um, it is Mittens, England. You can see there on the back it is marked. Um, it's a nice plate. I kind of like that for $2.99. I love the colors on it. And it does have an older stamp, so um, I can't tell if somebody actually painted the gold on there like after the fact, or if that's original to it, because if it's original, it's still really bright and shiny. 
Um, I think I'll take this plate. That's a pretty candlestick. Looks like it could be Limoges or something. Obviously, somebody peeled the sticker looking for the signature. Um, and it might not have a marking on the bottom. It's obviously hand painted. Look at how bright that gold is. <laughs> I, I think I'm more attracted to the china that has bright gold gilding on it. Um, I really like that. It's $1.99, even though it's a single candlestick. Uh, that's a beautiful piece, so we will stick that in there. I've seen this pretty lady before. Um, I forget which artist makes this. It's Ro Rossi. There we go. Um, it's $1.99. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. If it's supposed to be a napkin holder? It seemed kind of wide for a napkin holder, but we saw one of her... Um, it was a menorah, and it was at uh, Oxford Market Antiques, and a lot of my viewers brought my attention to it. I don't think there was really enough room for me to make a profit on the menorah, but um, this is $1.99. And <laughs> she's just so fun. I love how they always have those dangly pieces, um, and her work is pretty distinct. So for $1.99, we will take her with us. These are some nice canisters. I'm not sure if they're German or Czechoslovakia. China, Czechoslovakia, there you go. Um, they have a really nice kind of deco border here. Unfortunately, they are missing lids. That seems to be a common theme when I find these because the ceramic is very brittle. Um, and so unfortunately, it does crack and chip very easily. We've got pepper here. We have barley. <laughs> um, I would be... I have bought canisters before without lids for people to repurpose them, uh, but there really just wasn't a whole lot of profit in them uh, for repurposing. Uh, these are $2.99 and $2.99. They are very sweet. But this one, actually, I just noticed this one has a huge crack. I was considering it until I noticed the crack there on that. So, unfortunately, I think these are going to have to stay here on the shelf. But maybe somebody who is a repurposer will come along and be able to do something with those lid has been here forever and I every time I see it I'm like you know what I bet you the dish that went with that was probably really pretty I just love that color and that glaze Got a telescope here the pineapple it's nice. um it looks like it's made in USA up in safe I don't know I'm having a hard time reading it upside down I don't think it's uh, probably worth it. This set right here is clearly a silver plate. Um, you can see it's got the lid here. Um, I don't think that the creamer would have had a lid. It's $9.99, which is a little bit spendy um, here at the Goodwill anyway. Um, but it's a really nice set. I kind of like the patina on it. Uh, I'm, I'm considering it. We don't usually buy a whole lot of silver plate, um, but the fact that the whole set is complete, that's why I'm tempted on this. I obviously can't see the bottoms of them. It does look like there's a little bit of wear there. Um, but I think the patina is really what I'm... I'm taking the patina. I don't think I would really want to see this polished. Like I said, it's $9.99. Um, I think I'm going to grab it and take it with us. I don't know if the tray here is original to it. It looks... And the patina is right, but it looks a little different. Um, all right, let's do it. That's all we're going to end up with today. We've got some neat stuff in here. I'm going to head up to the checkout now and see what the damage is. Well, our total spend here at the Goodwill was $22. Um, I'm pretty pleased with that tea set. I think it's pretty... I don't know. I don't usually buy that stuff, so I'm not sure how it's going to do. <laughs> but I feel like because it's a complete set, it will do all right. Definitely more than $9.99. It's kind of an experimental piece for me, if I'm being honest. Um, <laughs> I think we're going to get out of here now. I'm going to head down the road. Lemoyne, um, Antiques Marketplace, Lemoyne is now open. I was kind of waiting for them to open, and they're now open. So we're going to head down there and see what we can find there now that all the Christmas sales are done. Um, they, I'm sure they're restocking and, and busy new stuff out so we're gonna go check it out and I'll see you there all right here we are we made it and they are open usually one of the last places that I visit when I come here but I was walking by it's 10% off and I noticed that that is a beautiful piece $18 on that 
18 bucks. I feel like it kind of looks like a leaf. $18, 10% off. I feel like I just kind of have to. The Millefiori isn't as distinct as I would like, but they're also larger than a lot of the Millefiori I see. So uh, for only $18, let us grab it. Another really beautiful piece. Look at the iridescence there on that little foot. Um, it is a mini oil lamp for $38. Kind of reminds me of Lundberg Studios. I don't know if it's, it is signed on the bottom. Um, I'll have to take the little chimney out before I do too much turning it over. It's pretty loose. There we go. Alright, let's check this out. Now, of course the whole thing falls off. <laughs> Pick it up in a minute. Um, lamp something. I can't really make it out. I guess we'll have to investigate a little bit later, but I'm going to put this baby back together and I think we're going to take it with us because I really really like that. That's a very noisy clock. <laughs> I was walking by and like, what is that noise? Um, let's check this. That's beautiful. What is this? Oh, it's a chamber pot. <laughs> um, Bristol, England. I love the painting on it, but I really have no need for a chamber pot. That's a unique form. Made in Malaysia. Looks like they pressed leaves into it. And I love the way they did the glazing on that. I recall this booth used to have this enormous bowl and it was really amazing, but it weighed like seven million pounds. <laughs> it was a little too heavy. Uh, this is a decorative hard paint, oh, hand painted Christmas bear. Oh wow, he's extremely heavy too. He's made of a heavy wood. Is he, is he carved? Maybe he's resin. I'm not sure. He's very heavy though. And you have the kitty cat, Egyptian style statue. It's a reverse painted piece. Looks familiar. Chinese enamel scoop. I just picked up two of these at Goodwill yesterday. Um, I can't recall what I paid for them, but. She's got 15 on them, so I feel like I could make a little bit of money on those. I recall that this case is usually locked, so I'm kind of excited that I can actually reach into it today. <laughs> maybe, maybe it was never locked and I just never tried. Uh, but this vase right here, $24. It has this scene on it with a camel and palm trees. Um, it's got the pyramid here. It kind of reminds me of Egyptian Revival. Um, and it's $24. So I, I like that. I love Egyptian Revival stuff. Um, so I will take that with me. This is JT's booth. And we've had luck in here in the past. His prices tend to be um, right with retail a lot of the time. But occasionally I can find something fantastic. Now this is $20. It looks like it could be Moser. It's signed there on the bottom with a number 17 a lot of the times no, the stopper a lot, a lot of the time the stopper will have the same number as the actual bottle this is twenty dollars uh, because it is missing its stopper but i feel like you could replace the stopper and look how crude that is the enamel work on it is really nice sometimes it's worn so it's twenty dollars it's missing its stopper but that could be replaced, so we will take this with us. Here is a German hand-painted box, um, decorative box, $20. We had purchased an entire um, lot of these at auction at one point, and uh, of all different sizes. We did fairly well with them, but I feel like $20, I would be stretching it on that. It is beautiful. I love those boxes. This shelving unit right here is often where I find the newer stuff that has come into the booth. So I like to look here. Um, I found Hager here before. I found some pretty decent stuff. Uh, this looks like a little cloisonne box for $20. Butterflies on it. It is marked China, you can see there. There doesn't appear to be a whole lot of damage to the cloisonne. Let's open the lid. The inside is nice as well, so... Add that to our cart and look at all the little cupies here. We saw one of these recently at Goodwill and I 
actually pass on that. Here is some copper luster, and I specifically noticed this one. I like the florals on that. I don't always buy copper luster. There are certain pieces that are worth a lot of money, and um, the majority of it is not worth a whole lot, but I really like the flowers on that. I'm not sure at 24, I'm not all that confident. So, I don't know, it is really pretty, but I'm, I'm gonna pass on that. Well, I've spotted the bluebird of happiness, and he's drawing me into this booth. I can't tell if he's a paperweight. Yep, he's a paperweight. Glass bluebird on pole, fifteen dollars. Signed there on the bottom. Leo Ward. So he is a bluebird of happiness. He is a paperweight. I don't think I've seen the paperweight form before. So he's fifteen bucks. The other piece I was eyeing up was this. Wow, Andrew would be so annoyed if I bought this for him to ship. Oh my goodness. It's kind of a Christmas tree, but at the same time, it's kind of a sea creature. Yeah. So I'm I'm going to leave that behind. It's hollow, and so it's like paper thin. Makes me a little bit nervous to even put it in my basket. We have another bluebird of happiness. This one is $10. This is just kind of your typical bluebird of happiness, though. This is a red cardinal of love. <laughs> $10 on this. I don't see as many of the red cardinals as I do the bluebirds, but um, at $10, I feel like there's not a whole lot of room there. Well, since we had such great luck with our last troll doll, apparently it was a, ro a, a rare troll doll. I paid $5 for it and it sold for a couple hundred dollars. Um, I think, I think I'm going to grab these two trolls. They are $15 a piece. And um, this one's got a little bit of damage on it. I'm not yeah. sure if that could be cleaned up. I mean, um, but for only 15 bucks a piece, we'll give them a shot. Well, I decided to skip over to this booth um, because it was a little noisy down on the other row. So I uh, will get back there eventually. But this is one of one of my favorite vintage booths. And uh, she's, I'm, I'm assuming she, <laughs> she always has really fantastic items in here and sometimes I find some really great deals so um they are running a 30% off sale so hopefully we find something here today I've been eyeing that glass bowl for so long <laughs> oh gosh it is really nice I love the contrast of that blue with the amber This is a nice Bristol glass vase. Um, you can see, oh, it's signed on the bottom. And uh, how much is it? We're looking at $27.50. It is 30% off. If it was blue, uh, I would probably consider it a little bit more. This is a Viking owl. I looked at the last time I was here. Uh, $65. It's now 30% off. I love that it has its original sticker. But again, I, th I feel like we're at retail on that. This is a really interesting piece. I can't tell if it's plastic or what's going on here. It's enamel. But I don't think I've ever seen one like this before. And it's only $16. With the 30% off, I think, um, I think this might be our guy. This booth always has some really amazing high-end pieces and I love looking through here but it seems like every time I come here the pieces I'm interested in are flipped over <laughs> and um, I'm just too lazy to get the key this piece however up here this is out in the open and I can look at it um, it's $79.50 it's a very pale purple glass kind of almost pink and it has these little bell flowers. I don't see any chips on it. It is $79. Um, which there was a little bit of discount, but I don't recall there ever being a discount on this booth. Um, I think I might grab that. Our enameled glass is doing very well, and that's a beautiful piece. I just lost one at auction. I think I went to 700 on it. Not like this, um, but very similar. 
and uh, so I think I'm gonna grab this. Here is another vintage Thomas Dam troll. <laughs> Um, $15. I think I'm gonna try my luck with this guy. Worst case scenario, I'll make my money back, but um, I kind of want to get into trolls and figuring them out, so uh, this is the best way to do it. As I was walking by, I noticed this beautiful piece. I really love the blue florals on that, and the enamel is nice. This one, I believe, is Bristol glass. I've got $10 on that with the lid, all of the times you find it and the lid is missing. But I feel like 10 bucks, oh, and it's 30% off of $10, so that's not too bad. I think, um, I think we'll take that. Here's as though this booth here is having a sale. Um, and I found this right here, and this is a beautiful, um, I covered, covered dish. Kind of reminds me of Empoli. It's only $22 and it is satin glass, green satin glass, but to find it with its lid is uh, is not very common. So we will take that with us for 20 or for 30% off. I absolutely love this piece. I'm usually not one for painted furniture, uh, but this is outstanding. I love the color and the knobs. That is amazing. This little toucan picture up here is curious. I don't think I've ever seen it in this color scheme before. A lot of the times I find them and they're painted to look Art Deco um, to kind of match the Dittmar Arbach of uh, Czechoslovakia. But this guy is likely made in Japan. Um, he's a little bit smaller than the toucan I have. And he's $20 because I've never seen that color combination before, I think I might grab him for 20. This is kind of a neat whale box. And uh, it's made from wood. It's got a little compartment there. Um, a whale box. <laughs> it's marked there on the bottom. Can't really make that out though. Um, our last pieces did pretty well, our wooden pieces. So we'll put that in here. The other item I wanted to show you was this. I found this for $13 while I was on the phone with my sister. I just stuck it in the basket. Um, it's kind of Millefiori beads. It's not really a micro mosaic, but it's just little Millefiori beads for $13. I was expecting it to say made in Italy, but I didn't see any markings on it. In any case, uh, we'll stick it in our basket. We have here a $12 water lily vase. This actually matches a covered dish that we had not too long ago. Um, and the covered dish I think sold for like $50. So this is only $12. Uh, I believe it's a more contemporary piece. I think it's made in Taiwan. I can't really read it um, on the bottom of this because it's very blurry. I'm pretty sure that's, that's uh, the same piece, only in vase form. All right, well, our total spend here was $326. Um, I feel like we got a lot of items for a lower price point than we normally do when we go to the antique malls. Normally, our price point's a little bit higher, uh, but we got some good pieces today, and I'm excited with everything that we bought. I think I'm going to get out of here now. I really got to eat. My stomach is grumbling, so I'm going to go find something to eat, and I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.